Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to kick off the last 32 round for my tournament. And yes, this will be two matches per video. I've decided I'll do two instead of four, so it'll be these two today. We'll see Mr. Backpack taking on Cryo Nova and Chainsaw taking on Ultimate Dino Queen. Looking forward to that one. And yes, you may know that there was maybe a few days after I made the actual draw because I wanted to start the last 32 on the Wednesday, so then... Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then I can finish it next week. So it's, it's all planning out in my head. But anyway, enough about that. Let's get on with the first matchup. Alrighty then. Up first for Mr. Backpack, we have a Daspolinosaurus. Um, we didn't see too much of this guy in the group stage. I mean, it was mainly Nodosaurus doing all the work. And it's mainly Nodosaurus the reason why Mr. Backpack reached this far in the tournament. That's not to say Mr. Backpack d don't deserve to be this far, because they've been very impressive so far. Anyway, as for Crown over in the blue corner, we have a Lambiosaurus. Crown over's been a little bit underwhelming, I say. I thought they'd do better in the group stage, but, you know, the knockout round is a chance for Crown over to build on qualifying from the group stage and maybe go far in the tournament. That sounded much better in my head. Ooh, that's a tie. Ties definitely suit the Lambiosaurus more because it is charge type. Ooh, that will definitely suit Lambiosaurus though. Tiebreaker coming in, along with a crit. Lots of damage done to Displinosaurus. Crown over off to a good start there. Oh, and there's the Tappy Jaras for Tiebreaker. Ooh, and a green impulse as well. Big hit from Crown over there. That's basically like a free hit. The Daspiosaurus couldn't do damage to Lambiosaurus in that tie. And instead, the Lambiosaurus gets off a green impulse. And, well, heals a tiny bit. Like, that's... that's does that actually make a difference? Like, it really doesn't. So when they just have it, so it takes like a... Like a chunk by ear. But anyway, a dominant start from Cryonova has decimated the Displinosaurus. But do not count Mr. Backpack out yet, because up next, we have the MVP of Mr. Backpack's team, the Nodosaurus. And Ties will help out Nodosaurus more than they would with Daspleosaurus because of that sand trap. And don't underestimate elemental power, it's been one of the surprise packages of this tournament. So even with the type disadvantage, it wouldn't be a surprise if the Lambiosaurus falls to Nodosaurus. Of course, Mr. Backpack needs to get a hit first. And so far, Cryonova isn't giving him one. Go on, Nodosaurus, you've got to prove you're the MVP here. Get a hit for Mr. Backpack's sake. Nope. Is Mr. Backpack going to get a hit in this tournament? Well, in this match, I should say. The answer to that is no. Um... I think Cryonova's going to win, which is kind of an upset. Alright, as for Mr. Backpack's third and final dino, we have a Super Paris, a Waker Mode on two, and, well, it's probably not going to get any hits because the Lambiosaurus keeps getting hits, but we'll just have to see. Well, can Mr. Backpack pull this back and make a big comeback? It'll be so, it'll be one hell of a comeback if he pulls this back. Well, at least he, get, he gets a hit. Gets a hit. Well done, Mr. Backpack. You got a hit. That's once. Oh, nope, nope. But the Lambiosaurus gets his customary hit of an egg attack. Ooh, but the Emerald Garden has been triggered. I think Mr. Backpack's going to need a couple of those. Ooh, he gets the hit. I wonder if the effects of Emerald Garden will increase when it's in Awaken Mode. I don't think it will. I think the damage is set already. But we'll just have to see. Oh, maybe it does. It seems to be a bit more. Okay, maybe not. And it doesn't matter because it loses half its health anyway. <laughs> 
Well, at least the pa Paris is putting up a fight. Ooh, a two platoon crushes this? Yeah. Smash! And the Lampiosaurus finally biting the dust. Alright, as for Cryonova's second dino, we have a Cryonophosaurus. Cryonova, though, still has a massive lead over Mr. Backpack, and all they need is one hit, and they'll go through to the last 16. But if Paris can keep getting hits off, it could, be, could make things interesting, we'll just have to see. Ooh, it's a tie. And a green impulse. Hmm, Mr. Backpack brewing up a fight. Phew. Oh, he's going to need every bit of health, Mr. Backpack. Oh, another tie, but no green impulse this time. Ooh, a crit from Paris, though. Mr. Backpack not going out yet. Cryonova still has work to do. Oh. Ooh. And all of a sudden, Mr. Backpack pulling it back. But I think they're going to need a little bit of help from this green impulse. Because, let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> he didn't gain anything. Ooh, it's a clash of the deep deep. As in the, as the crown over his third dino, we have Chomp. Super Chomp. So it's going to be Super Paris going up against Super Chomp. And crown over might be getting a bit nervous. Dominant early on. Mr. Backpack has fought their way back. And all they need is probably two, three, four hits and they'll win. But they can't be hit back, so... A tie will do it for Crown over. Okay, that'll do it. <laughs> a, va a valiant fight back from Mr. Backpack. A really valiant fight back. But, in the end, they gave themselves too much to do. And Crown over gets an impressive win and books their place in the last 16. As for Mr. Backpack, well, definitely an impressive combat combatant. I think they just got a little bit unlucky there at the beginning, didn't get a good start, but definitely been impressed with them, and I hope to see them again in future tournaments, because that Nodosaurus was really good. I mean, it's unlucky that it didn't get any hits off on the Lambiosaurus, otherwise Mr. Backpack would probably win the match, but, you know, that's how it goes, and Crown Over definitely got the rub of the green there. So, we'll, we'll update the bracket and we'll move on to our other match of this video, which sees Chainsaw taking on Ultimate Dino. Alrighty then. In the red corner for Chainsaw, we have a Sorrow Pelter. Chainsaw quite, in, quite solid in the group stage, definitely deserves to be here, as do everyone who made it this far. And I'd probably say a few people who didn't make it this far deserve to, deserve to go through, but unfortunately didn't. But, in the blue corner for Ultimate Dino Queen, we have a Uteraptor. This Uteraptor's gonna have, gonna have to earn its dough here, because Ultimate Dino Queen will be at two type disadvantages, with a Pissacilla Claudia taking on our Bertha Ceratops, and Super Raj going up against Spiny Dino Tactor. But, I will say, if Ultimate Dino Queen does get into an early lead, I think she might have a chance to win this match, but honestly, I expect Chainsaw to win, but we'll just have to see. Ultimate Dino Queen, our dark horse in the tournament. Off to a good start there. You know, it's, it's such a shame that Ultimate Dino Queen lost to Engineer Gaming in the last in her last match. Because if she had won that match, we would see Ultimate Dino King taking on Ultimate Dino Queen in the last 32. And let's be honest, I think we'd all rather that matchup than this one, but. This is the matchup we're going to have to stick with. And what I will say is Ultimate Dino Queen is on top early on. And look at that. Uteraptor making short work of Soropelter. 
and as I said, giving up on the Dino Queen that early lead, which could be crucial if she wants any chance of winning this match. Right, as for Chainsaw's second Dino, we have an Alberta Ceratops. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't, I'd still say Chainsaw has a favourable chance because if they can get past this Uteraptor, a Pissacilla Claudia will come in and Chainsaw will have the edge. But this Uteraptor is looking unstoppable so far, Chainsaw can't even get a hit. Oh, finally Chainsaw gets a hit. <laughs> Starting to feel bad for him. The Deuteraptor finally damaged. I think Dino Illusion is definitely going to help Ultima Dino Queen here. If she can get it off. Oh, never mind. Ultima Dino Queen gets another hit. But not too much damage. Oh, that was, a that was actually a bit of damage, I should say. Stop going Lightning Spear. Okay, it worked. Lightning Spear is going to be activated. Big damage coming, Uteraptor's way, and that could be just what Chainsaw needs. Yeah, look at that. And, even better for Chainsaw, no Dino Illusion, which means the next time this Uteraptor gets hit, it's going to die. Massive for Chainsaw that. How costly could that lack of um, Dino Illusion be for Ultimate Dino Queen? It was quite costly in the, in the last match against Ultima Dino. No, against Engineer Game. And yep, there it goes. The Uteraptor biting the dust. Alright, as for Queen's second Dino, we have an Apissa Sealer Claudia. Ultima Dino Queen still has the lead, but this Apissa Sealer Claudia will, will be at a tight disadvantage, which could be costly for Ultima Dino Queen here. But look at our strength 2000. That's really good. Especially for a dinosaur with only like 1,000 strength, this thing's got loads of attack. I think it is an attack type as well, so that's why it has so much attack. And well, despite that attack, despite the tragic sphere, it will not be lethal for our... Oh, 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 <laughs> I thought it was then, but that type advantage there, saving our boot Ceratops from going down. Ooh, oh, wait, what? No light recovery? Huh. Wait, is it is it maxed out? Maybe light recovery has like a max amount of limits that it can be used. Oh, despite being at the type advantage, the Alberta Ceratops was unable to get off big hits to take advantage of that. And instead, the Apista Sea Claudia gives Ultimate Dino Queen a 2-1 lead. I tell you, do not underestimate our Dark Horse in this tournament. She might just go all the way. Okay. As for Chainsaw's third and final Dino, we have Spiny Dino Tector. Yeah, can it get past this Epistocela Claudia and get to that Super Rad where it will have the type advantage? Oh my god, he's huge! It's like so big compared to this thing. I can't. You, you, it can go easily go up here and like rip its neck off. But this is Dinosaur King. And Dinosaur King. Oh, poop, poop, poop. Oh. I mean, the Dino Stuffer, but. Um. I'll go close it. Okay, I'll, I'll do a tie because it would have been a tie. Oops. Hopefully that don't affect the final outcome. Okay, Spiny is getting the hit though. Ooh, the Aqua Vortex there has been triggered. No, no Aqua Javelin. Oh, here comes Aqua Vortex. The Apissa Sela Claudia getting off a decent big hit on Spiny there. I mean, it's not going to do that much damage, but but it will nullify all of Spiny's moves. Ooh, but Spiny will defeat and finish off the Epistocela Claudia. Okay, as for Queen's third and final dino, we have a Super Ragasaurus. 
Will Awaken Mode be key for Queen to win this match? Or can Chainsaw take advantage of the type advantage? And I figured it out. I know how to fix di Dino stuff. Okay, if Queen wins with a crit, we'll just declare that a tie. So that way then, it negates the crit. So it is like Dino stuff are activated. And then that's how we'll play. But so far, Ultimate Dino Queen is not getting the crits. Oh, and I just noticed. Once our bar fills up, it's Dino Tech the time. Oh, finally Ultimate Dino Queen gets a hit, and here comes a light recovery. Not much damage dealt though because of that tight disadvantage, but here comes Volcano Burst. Okay, one more round, and it's awakening time for Rajasaurus. Ooh, the spiny getting off the head. Oh, I better get my notes out. Oh, here we go, it all comes down to this. I got ahead to the code. Oh, it's all gonna come down to this. If Chainsaw gets the next hit, Chainsaw will win. If Ultima Dino Queen gets the next hit, then she will win. Oh, how massive is this? Oh, it's a tie! But that was Soup Queen more. Oh, it's a tie! Ultimate Dino Queen! Oh, Ultimate Dino Queen has won! Um. Okay, that mistake wouldn't have mattered. Ultimate Dino Queen was going to win anyway, so. That mistake didn't matter in the end, but a very impressive win from Ultimate Dino Queen. Oh, poor, poor Chainsaw. I kind of feel bad because you, you like had two type advantages and you still lost. But that's our Dark Horse for you and she will advance to the last 16 where it will once again be a rematch between her and Cryonova. Ugh. <laughs> it's kind of disappointing that it's a rematch, but oh well. Wow. <laughs> what a match that was. That could be match of the round. Right. Well, I already told you how they're that. Who will be playing in the last 16? It'll be Cryonova taking on Ultima Dino Queen. So, I hope you enjoyed this session. Stay tuned for next time. Where I'll, well, I'll update that first. But stay tuned for next time. Where we will see Lanzu going up against Nopi. And Torvasaurus taking on Shadow Force. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.